good morning. We're going to start now. Uh, yoga Lati is a little late, but we're going to do an all over body workout. First, you're going to do is stretch one leg at a time. We've done these before. We're going to bring that leg or foot towards the head. For those that are able bodied, let's see if we can get those hands to the feet and stretch, taking the back of the leg there towards the head. And you may even want to hold to feel that stretch down the back of the leg. Now, to work here, and if you need to support the back, place the ball behind you and we're going to take the other leg off the floor and hold that for two breaths there. So feeling the stretch through the legs and you might want to flex both feet when you're there. Take in the same hand to the calf, keeping the other leg off the floor, stretch out to the side, lengthening the knee and the back of the legs. Quads here doing all the work. Now bring the leg further up. We're going to change legs now, so encourage this leg to stretch first before we use your lower back and core muscles to stretch the other leg off the floor. So flexing through the feet, again relying on the ball behind you or a pillow to stretch and lengthen those legs. Holding here for two to three breaths. Then same hand, Pulling that leg away, holding that stretch for two breaths. Now, drawing yourself to the side, we're in the straight back. Bend the knees, lift the chin, and stretch through your back. Lengthen the legs one at a time, and then bring in those legs again to stretch. Bring the arms to the feet and stretch all four limbs and then pulse down, bending through the elbows. Then using the ball as mentioned earlier, behind you, straight in the back and work into the shoulders. And we're gonna try and do an all over body workout as mentioned at the beginning. So every muscle should be able to stretch, lengthen and be used this morning. So we're going to go into arm floats one at a time, up and down, feeling the work through the shoulders and the wrists as you come up and down. You'll also feel the benefit here of using the shoulders to hopefully get the arms parallel or in line with the shoulders. As the hands come up, length from one hand at a time as the arms follow. Again, stretching the side of the body and your back nice easy stretch here now reach for the toes again this time bend the elbows and bring them closer to the legs and roll again tuck in your chin towards the knees hold for two to three breaths and go lower now bend in one leg rely on your ball if you have a bad back hold on to the knee and then we're going to do what we did at the beginning but here stretching that leg hopefully nice and straight foot higher than the head other knees staying bent this time we're going to stretch all of the hamstrings here in the calf muscles again stretching from the heel really good stretch here so you're pulling and pushing at the same time and we're going to swap legs now this enables us to do the very first yoga pose once we've fully stretched. So again, working the back of the legs, hamstrings and calves on the other leg. Notice here, I'm relying on my ball so I really get good leverage through the legs. Now, keeping yourself upright with both legs bent, place one leg, placing the heel towards the bottom, other leg over the top, and opposite arm to opposite elbow. Straighten the back, finding here the other arm round the back, twist towards the back shoulder and this is really going to work through your back shoulders tummy your core your legs and arms as you twist and lift the chin towards the back shoulder and here through half lord of the fishes see if you turn further back the idea of this is to try and get the neck further around and a straighter back
and then we're going to swap legs. Do exactly the same, again bringing the foot underneath, other leg there over the top, and then opposite arm again over the knee, straight back, and twisting again through. So try and work through the neck, twisting further around, again pulling that knee across, and lift the chin. And again holding for two to three breaths. Now laying down here on your mats, remove the ball. You may want to place the head all the way down today, so don't use the pillow, so that we can stay in crook position. Once you are there in crook position, we're just gonna do a few roll-ups here. Um, I'm going to use the block or pillow towards the knees in a way. We're gonna do 30 to work the core muscles and stretching through the upper body, arms, stretching away from the head. Neck is stretching, tummy muscles working, and your back is fully opening every disc in the spine. Two more. And then we're going to take that uh, pillow or block, whatever you've got, under your head. And we're just going to bring the legs up to tabletop one at a time, placing the hands either side of the bottom, or if you have a bad back, ball again underneath. And then just balancing on the ball, try and make sure the knees are in line with the ankles. We're just going to flex and point the ankles here. So working through your feet, still balancing on the ball. And again, you should feel the calf muscles stretching. And now circle them. Feeling the work all the way down to your toes, in the ankles and knees. here drop one at a time strengthening your lower back and core muscles and repeat for 15 on each leg here as you drop one at a time you'll feel the core muscles as you drop the leg five. Now staying on tabletop, flex the feet, stretch away. One at a time, lengthening now through the top of the leg muscles, stretching your core muscles and your back muscles. Again, coming back to tabletop each time into a long kick or a long half bite here. So we're really pushing the pedals or kicking away. And you really feel the lower back and core muscles as you work those legs now. Really good, again, for the upper trunk or core muscles. Each time you stretch, fully lengthening the body here. Again, last five. Now, if you do have a back condition, please keep the ball underneath the bottom as we're now going to double leg kick. Again, working core muscles, lower back. Feel in the stretch now, here as you lengthen and in the back as you curl the knees. And again, I would suggest 16 of these. 
If you want to do more, by all means do. So you can make it up to 32 quite comfortably, which is roughly about a minute. Now with just six more to go, you should feel those nice core muscles really contracting as you lengthen those legs. A nice, beautiful stretch to help you with the muscles you probably don't use very often. A very good workout to do on a sofa if you can't get all the way down to the floor. Now push. So this is a long bike. Here, bending one knee and flexing the heels as you stretch one leg at a time. So here, again, working your hip flexor muscles, working the lower back, quadriceps fully working and actively pushing and stretching all of the calf and leg muscles. Now I like to bounce off the ball when my ball's underneath the back. So again, you might want to do that, taking the heel down one at a time. Don't forget your breathing. So out breath, in breath here on every stretch. Now notice here, you won't have a very good um, neutral spine because the ball will stop that, but try and keep the shoulders relaxed and the hips laying on the ball. Now we're gonna bring back to tabletop and bring them down, giving the tummy muscles a rest, removing the ball and the block as we go into a bridge. So from here, we're gonna go into a shoulder bridge, so the heels are coming into the bottom, grounding, taking up here the back, the bottom, the glute muscles are squeezing, top of the legs here doing all the work, so your quadriceps here really firing. And just hold this position for three to four deep breaths. This is really good for stress related uh, mental issues because if you're deep breathing in and out you'll soon feel the stretch of the body and the mind will clear. Fantastic to do at the end of the day as well if you work. Now we're going to place the ball um, or block depending on what you've got to hand underneath the back encouraging an elongation on the spine and again the heels are off the floor toes come into the block just make sure the knees, knees are in line with the hips Hands down, we're going to feel that stretch in your spine this morning. Just going to hold statically there for six to eight deep breaths. Now these are deep yogic breaths, not Pilates uh, breaths that we did earlier as we were kicking. Or um, as you breathe in and out, we're now doing a deep diaphragmatic breath. So breathing in from the diaphragm and out. Earlier we did a lateral breathing, so we don't need to work the chest quite so fast. Now breathing in and out. Again, you'll feel the quadriceps burning now and that's what I'm looking for. If you want more progression, take the arms over the head and are still feeling that stretch for your back. Watch that the heels aren't rolling in. Keep them nice and secure. And two more deep, deep breaths in, deep, deep breaths out. Now bring the hands to the ball or block and take one leg stretches to the ceiling. Here, lengthening the leg. I like to curl my heel into dorsiflexion so I can feel the calf muscles, but still quadriceps fully stretching here and elongation on the spine. Bring my hands down. I'm just gonna stay there for two more breaths before we change legs. Change now. Now remove the block and walk the hands uh, down and then the feet once the bottom's down. Lengthening the whole body again, taking the limbs 
away from each other and lengthening elbows and knees. Breathing in and out for four breaths. Now last exercise on the back, I want you to place the ball between your knees and again take them to tabletop. Hands need to be the side of the bottom if you suffer with a back condition and then we're going to roll onto the hands from right to left. As you do this, remember the core muscles are doing all the work. Really good for your transverse abdominus muscles. I'm going to do 15 each way. Now you may want to do this with a straight leg, so again it's your option uh, to choose. If you are doing straight leg, watch your back. And if done correctly, you'll probably find as the transverse abdominus muscles and obliques fire that you'll walk down your mats. Try and keep the knees straight. Lengthen through the back and sides, feeling the work on your core muscles. Go further. Two more. Now we're going to go on to the sand. So if you have a shoulder issue, Make sure a ball or pillow is under the head as the arm goes forward. I'm going to place my arm above the head. Some of you may want to put the block there as well. We're taking the other arm over the top of the head and then we're going to straighten here across the hips to stack them. And then point the toe up, flex the heel down for 15 lifts. The idea of this is try not to roll from side to side and watch the back condition. Now coming up onto the elbow, bring the knees behind you with the feet close together. Then from here we're going to take the top leg up and off of the bottom leg to work deep into the back, the glutes and of course your adductor muscles and abductor muscles. You will feel these contracting as you lift and stretch. Really good for the glute muscles and sides. If you feel your hips rocking, place the arm behind you. This will prevent you from moving from side to side or rocking off of the hips. Should still just come off of the hip bone underneath you. Now normally if you're in one of my classes, I'd be going around with my leg here, trying to keep you face forwards or keeping the hips stacked. And of course you don't have that ability, it's very difficult when you're doing classes online. You are worrying all the time about how you're performing and making sure you don't get an injury. So do listen. Um, as I give you those instructions. Also, the alternative to this would be don't lift it so high, or if it's just too painful into the leg and bottom, then just lift the leg up and down like we did with the previous exercise. We're nearly there, we're gonna do four more of these. And then we're gonna roll over and do the last two exercises on the other leg. So, safely roll over. Stack and again the hips, point and flex the foot. I'm sorry, I'm closing my eyes here, the sun's right in my eyes. <laughs> so again, up and down, 15 lifts.
and then up onto the elbow, stacking the hips again, making sure the top knee is resting on the bottom knee, and then either the hand here or behind you to stop you rocking, and again, 15 uh, of these nice big open and closed legs as you pull and lift in. You should feel the work in and out of the leg. Really good to do with a ring or a band around the legs for more intensity or with the resistance. Well done so coming up onto the legs into a yoga split open the legs nice and wide stretching again the legs but also work in the back and tummy bring up the arms and we're going to pull back and hold for two breaths and release for two breaths you should feel that work now through the shoulders back and the scapula pushing the rhomboids together in the back feels so good we'll do four more of them And then we're going to stretch the arms to the ceiling, turn, lengthen the hands to the foot with the head coming down to the knee and then in between the legs. So you're twisting through the back, your hips and all of the muscles connected to those bones. Now lengthen now, chin towards the floor or forehead down. Now bringing the hands in front of you, last exercise here, you're gonna flex the foot and bring the legs off the floor. Work in the hip flexors and your quadricep muscles. My back is still straight, but if you need to rely on a ball or pillow behind you, do. I'm going to do 16, so just 8 on each leg to finish this morning. Two more. Last one on each. Now to relieve the quads, bring the knees in, straight backs up. And just like I said, work in the neck now. A whole body workout. We've done the arms, the legs, the back, the core, the tummy muscles, the calves, the feet, and last of all, the neck. Stretch the fingers now. Lengthen towards me and just stretch them above the head. Deep breath in. And out. Have a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All the best. Thank you for joining me today. Bye bye for now.